Good morning and welcome to the DFS Army YouTube channel. I am Razzle 11 and you can find me on X at Razzle 11 Grinds. Going to take a look at some pitching for today, the 26th of June. It is Wednesday. We do have two slates five game day slate and six game main evening slate. Uh, I have not looked at any weather yet at this point. Um, obviously, it's been pretty hot around the country most of the last week or so. Uh, so we want to kind of dig in and learn what we can about the weather. But with that, we're going to focus on the pitching. A reminder, this is a first look at the pitching options on the slate. Uh, trying to put together a, a first look pool on FanDuel. If you are a FanDuel player, I would cut my pool in a half or a third uh, just because you don't have to be as creative. Pricing isn't as tight for stacking purposes. But with that said, let's take a look at this day slate. Um, gross. That's my initial look. Um, nothing really stands out to me. Uh, <clears throat> I would, would be interested in Spencer Turnbull returning to Detroit. Problem is, is we might only see him throw 70 pitches or less. Uh, he started out the season really strong as a starter. Uh, I'm really shocked that Philly just handed over his rotation spot to Taiwan Walker as soon as he was healthy. Uh, with that said, Turnbull stepping into the rotation for Taiwan Walker. I like it. I like the fact he's taken on his former team. I just wish that we were going to get the possibility of seven innings out of him. Um, just because he's not a massive strikeout guy, so we do need those longer outings. With that said, with this slate the way it is, Turnbull certainly is in play for me at this point. Uh, not that I love it, but we can only choose from what we got. Nate Evaldi, uh, K numbers haven't really been super strong this year, but I think he's probably the best option GPP-wise. Uh, I mean, Milwaukee can be pesky. They're going to score a couple runs for sure. Um, but on this slate, I don't think we're looking for perfect. I mean, in general, we shouldn't be looking for perfection anyways. Sorry about that. I tried to pause the recording as I sneezed. I'm not sure if the recording caught any of that. But um, talking about Evalde, obviously Milwaukee, steady. We're not looking perfect for perfection, perfection today. But again, we should never really be looking for perfection from players in a sport like baseball. Um, I just think ivaldi has got enough upside for us that he probably should be one of the top two plays. Uh, Singer probably the, the chalk. He just hasn't looked great for a few weeks now. Um, I mean, he was solid in his last start, but just not really any upside. He's going to be a favorite in this game for sure. Um, K-Prop is just four and a half, though. Not overly exciting. He's a minus 218 home favorite. So, um, yeah, the game total is nine. That's a little worrisome. It means it's probably still pretty hot in Kansas City. But uh, we don't exactly have a ton to choose from. Uh, I kind of wish that... DK would have included game one of the Braves Cardinals game doubleheader in this slate just because that would have given us Ronaldo Lopez to work with. Um, or wish that Seattle Tampa Bay game wasn't an hour earlier um, because we could have used George Kirby and Pepiat. But again, we have to work with what's in front of us. Graham Ashcraft, the guy that offers upside, he just looked bad most of this season and was sent down. He's returning. Uh, he is a minus 142 favorite, but this game has the highest total on the slate. K-Prop of 5.5. Juice is on the under. Um, but he's always capable of strong performances. He's just super volatile. Um, he's going to be in play in the slate because we have to use some guys. Uh, Eric Getty probably ends up the chalkiest, I would think. Uh, he or Singer, but he's taking on the weak Colorado offense. K-Prop of 6.5, which seems ridiculously strong. Um, he just might be somebody I use DFS-wise and then bet the under on that K-prop, to be honest. He's a minus 185 favorite. He just fits. Luis Ortiz, probably not going to work for me, but 
he does show upside at times. It's just I don't think this is a spot coming off a game where he's lit up by Tampa Bay. Um, I guess if you know any slate was one to use Luis Ortiz, it might be this slate, but I just don't know if I'm going to get there. Um, we'll kind of see as I get to my notes shortly uh, and get an idea if I'm going to have to go there or not. Let's switch over to the six-game main slate. We have Luis Hill coming off of getting lit up by Baltimore. Uh, it is what it is. He's been phenomenal much of the season prior to that. He's on just a ridiculously strong run. It's been even better when pitching on the road where he is pitching today. Um, I like him for a bounce back. He's a minus 130 road favorite. K prop of 5.5 juices strongly on the over. Luis Hill makes a lot of sense to me. Gavin Stone makes sense, but I think there's going to be some people that are a little gun shy after watching Miller get knocked around by the White Sox early. Um, Stone, not a huge K guy. K prop of 4.5 juice is on the over. But he is a minus 185 favorite in this game. Game total of just 8 as well. So uh, Gavin Stone makes a ton of sense. He just doesn't offer the same upside as a guy like Heal does. The issue is, is like it's a massive price difference. So I can just see most of the field. I shouldn't say most, but a lot of the field going uh, with Gavin Stone over Heal. Because they like to spend up at a, a bat or two. Um, so I will gladly use them both. Um, I would think right now I'm going to try to end up with more heel than stone, but uh, it's early in the day. Hayden Wesneski showed some signs as a starter last year. Had a start performance this year against Milwaukee was great, but we're just not going to get enough any, er, yeah, innings and pitches out of him, I don't believe. He obviously hasn't pitched in five days, so they're setting him up to start, but it's going to be really tough. Um, I obviously like pitching in this ballpark, but I just don't think we can get there just because I don't think he's going to go deep enough for us. Cutter Crawford's a guy that I like using, just not going to use him right now. Um, he hasn't looked sharp. He's been allowing too many home runs. Strikeouts have been there. Uh, so if I do end up using him, I'm not going to completely eliminate him. Uh, obviously it's early in the day. He's kind of on the borderline or outside looking in right now. But the one big thing is if he can cut back his home run issues of late, that takes away so many of these runs. Now his strikeouts play up even more. Um, and we're talking about maybe a, a 30, 30 fantasy point performance. Uh, the issue is Toronto doesn't strike out a ton overall. His K props 5.5 with juice on the under. But he is a minus 155 favorite. The issue is the game total is sitting at 9.5 uh, with juice on the over. Fetty has been solid. I'm just not in a hurry to pick on the Dodgers. Uh, he's been absolutely elite when pitching at home. He just hasn't pitched at home in a while, uh, over a month now. Uh, I, I think there's going to be people talking about going there, and I understand it the way that Fetty's pitched. I'm just not picking on Otani and Freeman right now. Um, just even those two guys can do enough damage uh, to where Fetty's just not in play for us. Um, maybe my stance will change as the day goes on, but I'm not really sure about that. Uh, Woods Richardson has certainly been a surprise, pitching extremely well. Just doesn't offer a ton of K upside in general. A game total of nine in that one as well. Uh, it's a little worrisome. Four and a half is his K prop juice on the under. But I'm not really seeing anybody else that I kind of want to go with. Um, the San Francisco starter isn't even in the player pool. Uh, DraftKings has randomly inserted guys back in at different times. I just don't think they're going to. Uh, so I think we just we pay at the top and, and hope that's enough. Ryan Nelson against the Twins, not really. Um, not really interested there either. So. Um, yeah, it's a, a unique pitching day for us. Obviously, uh, we can condense our pitcher pool quite a bit today, I do believe. Just because the last few days we dealt with a lot of guys that could get it done. I skipped over Bryce Elder. 
somebody that we've used in the past. He's making his return uh, to the majors. I'm not sure what he's been doing in the minors. I have to dig into that. He's somebody that might become in play uh, as research is done, but that's something we'll, we'll get to as the day goes on. So there we have it. There's the first look at pitching. If you enjoy what I bring to you, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Turn the notification bell on. Get the alert anytime we drop videos here at DFS Army. And if you get, if you want access to us, our coaches, our sheets, Discord, etc., I will put links in the description below. You can use promo code RAZ, that's R-A-Z, for 10% off monthly. And as always, best of luck, everybody.